हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल एम जे मंजरी आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल टूडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी पर्टिकुलरली हेल्पफुल फॉर ऑल द क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट आउट देयर गेयरिंग अप फॉर देयर बोर्ड एग्जाम द सी बी एस ई क्लास ट्वेल्थ इकोनॉमिक्स बोर्ड एग्जाम विल हेल्ड ऑन वेनजडे मार्च थर्टीन एक्सप्लोर द मोस्ट रिपीटेड पी बी एस ई क्वेश्चन फॉर सी बी एस ई क्लास ट्वेल्थ इकोनॉमिक्स बोर्ड एग्जाम दिस क्वेश्चन अलॉन्ग विद सिंपल टिप विल असिस्ट स्टूडेंट इन स्मार्ट एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन so grab your notebook and let's get started first macroeconomics question 1 explain circular flow of income in two sector economy question 2 explain the limitation of gdp as welfare question 3 explain problem of double counting and how it should be avoided question 4 items included or excluded in the estimation of national income or domestic income question 5 what is meant by money supply discuss in brief the m1 constituent of money supply question 6 explain the following function of central bank bankers bank government bank supervisory bank bank of issue question 7 explain the process of money creation by commercial bank giving a numerical example question 8 explain the relationship between mpc mps and k with maximum and minimum value of each question 9 show the derivation of saving curve from consumption curve question 10 explain the working of investment multiplier by giving a numerical example question 11 how equilibrium level of income is attained through saving and investment approach Question twelve: Define inflationary graph and deflationary graph. Also, explain how to correct this through monetary and fiscal policy. Question thirteen: What are the objective of government budget? Question fourteen: How exchange rate is determined in flexible exchange rate? Question fifteen: Define depreciation of domestic currency and its impact on export and import. based on national income question 16 give three sources of each of demand and supply of foreign exchange rate question 17 define manage floating exchange rate question 18 write any two merit and demerit of fixed and flexible exchange rate question 19 explain three component of capital account and current account in balance of payment Question twenty. Differentiate between the following. First, real GDP and nominal GDP with formula. B. Final good and intermediate good with example. C. Voluntary unemployment and involuntary unemployment. D. Autonomous and accommodating transaction in BOP. E. Devaluation and depreciation of domestic currency. F. Revenue expenditure. and capital expenditure g revenue deficit and capital receipt h balance of trade and balance of payment i current account and capital account in bop j depreciation and capital loss k current account surplus and current account deficit l direct taxes and indirect taxes with example m stock and flow numerical will be based on national income adas bop and government budget next we have indian economic development question 1 what are the main reason for stagnation in agricultural sector explain land settlement system question 2 what are the indicator of demographic profile in india on the eve of independence question 3 discuss the role of small scale industries in the generation of employment and why they need protection for their growth question 4 long term goal of five year plan question 5 discuss the industrial sector reform introduced under the new economy policy question 6 when and why reform introduced in india question 7 what are the sources of human capital formation in india question 
differentiate between institutional and non-institutional source b carrying capital capacity and absorptive capacity of the environment c bilateral and multilateral trade d traffic and non traffic barriers question number 9 why is agricultural diversification required state the benefit of diversification and what are the two type of diversification question 10 what are the source of zulu credit explain every point question 11 zulu economic development is essential for indian economic development do you agree with the above statement support your answer with valid reason question 12 what are the measures taken by the government of india to improve agricultural marketing question 13 what do you mean by formal and informal sector discuss the condition of worker in each of this sector question 14 since independence the government has playing an important role in generating employment directly or indirectly explain question 15 explain the following a green revolution and its impact b positive contribution by britisher c function of pollution control board d function of wto e nabard f outsourcing g self help group h horticulture i organic farming j sustainable development and its aim question 16 answer the following in brief a function of environment b casualization and information of workforce c ozone depletion d global warming e land degradation f step to be taken for attaining sustainable development question 17 what similar development strategies have india china and pakistan followed for their respective development path question 18 explain the great leap forward campaign and cultural revolution of china question 19 explain any three major component of human development index indicator question 20 what are the reasons for the slow down of growth and the emergence of poverty in pakistan economy then we have data based question from each chapter first employment second competitive development experience india pakistan and china and there you have it for the 40 most repeated pvs here question in economics for your class 12 board exam remember consistent revision practicing sample paper and solving pvs here question paper are key to performing well if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content best of luck with your exam and i will see you in the next video happy studying